What's up guys, this is Mikey and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your NVIDIA GTX 860M. Little disclaimer here, you do take a risk when you overclock anything. So if anything happens to your computer, I'm not responsible for anything that happens, that's on you. So that being said, let's do this tutorial. Um, so first thing, you'll need to go to the internet and download MSI Afterburner and I got it from this one and just scroll down to the bottom and 4.3.0 stable just download that or you can get you can go to here to MSI Afterburner and click download and just download it here download Afterburner and then you want to get uh, GPU Z also so you can watch what's going on with your GPU so grab that and you you'll want to get Haven benchmark so you can do a benchmark and make sure everything's okay. I'll have links in the description for everything, so you won't have to Google everything. It's all in the description. It's all down there. So just download all three of those, and then uh, load up GPU Z, load up Afterburner, and then change your core clock to plus 135 and then the memory clock to plus 334 and I found anything higher than that you start to see artifacts and it's unstable higher than that so you wanna just have it at plus 334 and if you have the same system as me is the ASUS uh, G751JM then you should be able to use everything exactly the same but you wanna make sure you keep an eye on the temperature that's very important you don't want it to go really high temperature and if you have the same laptop as me then it's got uh, dual fans on each side so the, it's got a fan for the CPU and it's got a fan for the GPU and it, the cooling on it is really good so with me on this system overclocking it it sits at uh, 74 to 75 and when I don't overclock it, it sits at uh, 72 to 73. So the, it only goes up a couple of degrees overclocking it, which is perfect. And it's stable at this core clock and memory clock. And you want to check off apply at Windows startup so you don't lose these settings. And uh, here's the, my results. This is before overclocking it. I got a score of 638. FPS is 25 and then after overclocking at 718 and it says FPS is 28 so it only went up 3 FPS average which isn't all that much but, but the score went up quite a bit and uh, in normal day to day gaming you notice that it just it's just a little bit smoother you don't get as much FPS drops and stuff and so it's, you know, there is benefits to overclocking it so yeah, if uh, this video helped you out, then give the video a like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment, and I'll usually reply to every single comment. So just leave a comment, and most likely I will reply. So thanks for watching.